My name is Sam Vaknin and I am a columnist in Brussels Morning. And today we are going to discuss a very, very obscure topic that I think deserves to be studied much more closely. The phrase minority rights conjures abhorrent images of Palestinians tortured in Israeli prisons or Aegean Macedonians expelled from Greece or incarcerated on remote islands there to perish or of Native Americans confined to wasteland reservations having been decimated for decades. But the sad truth is that minorities are welcome nowhere and that every single nation harbors embarrassing skeletons in its historical closet. Consider Norway. Yes, Norway, not North Korea. Norway, by far the least plausible candidate for the role of perpetrators of genocide, physical or cultural. This remote Scandinavian polity has repeatedly won every conceivable prize for upholding and cherishing human rights. And yet, Norway too is a dark chapter that ended perhaps debated debatably only recently. During the 18th and 19th century, many Finns, destitute farmers and fishermen, emigrated from their homeland and from Sweden and settled in the inhospitable northern reaches of Norway. They joined the original inhabitants of that area, Finns known as Sami. The new arrivals came to be known as Kvena in Norwegian, Kveni in their own Finnish dialogue, dialect, or simply Kven by everyone else, K-V-E-N. Fully one quarter of the population in the north identified themselves as Kven in 1875. Yet it took their adopted country two centuries and a parliamentary investigative committee to recognize them as a minority in 1996 and to accept their right to use their language in 2005 within the framework of the European Charter for Regional or Minority Languages. Yet this may have been too little, too late. In the intervening period, the word Kven was used as a pejorative, as a curse, curse word by the Kven's upstanding ethnically pure compatriots. Kven and Sami culture and languages were considered backward and inferior with racist undertones. Across the border in Sweden, Samis were compulsorily sterilized. In Norway, the Kven and Sami were relabeled the foreign nations, non-Nordic of Mongol roots. They were also called the original immigrants, a falsification of history as the Norwegians were the immigrants, not the Sami who are actually indigenous. <laughs> to mandate uh, the mandate of the Finn Fund established in the 19th century by the National Assembly called on it to civilize the Kven and the Sami, even after World War II, as Norway sought to modernize itself, Kven and Sami civilizations were cast as outdated and primitive, and I'm talking about Norway now, <laughs> not, you know, Russia or... Consequently, many Kvens now claim counterfactually to be Norwegians or merely Norwegian Finns and they consider the Kven language to be a dialect of Finnish. Inevitably, in a nationalistic backlash, some Kven now insist that they are the aborigines, aborigines of Northern Europe and that once in the 11th century they used to run an empire that covered most of northern Scandinavia. Groups of opportunistic Swedish Finns support these theories in an attempt to leverage the ILO 169 Convention about the rights of indigenous people and apply it to Sweden's Kvens. Be that as it may, the truth is that Norway had made it exceedingly difficult for Kvens and other Finns, such as the Sami people, to obtain citizenship or maintain it. It made it, Norway made it literally impossible for them 
to buy real estate unless they agreed to change their names, give up their language and culture, and later move away from sensitive border areas. They were considered pro-Russian, and then they were considered pro-German, and therefore a security risk. Additionally, lands in the public domain, in truth, owned by the Sami and Kven, were declared to be state property and confiscated without any compensation. This discriminatory policy was known as the impronounceable Norwegianization. And so, for instance, well into the 1950s, it was forbidden to teach the Sami language in schools, with, the except, with a few exceptions in the 1930s and 1940s. The very existence of the Sami nation as a minority was acknowledged only in 1989, after massive demonstrations in 1979, ostensibly against the construction of an environmentally disruptive dam, but actually in order to air Sami grievances. Only in the 1990s were some of the wrongs, some of the wrongs, righted. The Sami language was declared a national treasure and a second official language in Norway. A Sami parliament was established and land appropriated by the state, but the state was returned to the Sami people. The Kven are envious of the Sami's achievements. Well into the 1990s, they were still being labeled immigrants and not a minority by the Norwegian state. In 1987, the Kven established the Norwegian Kven organization. Its aims are both political and cultural. The ultimate compilation of a government report about the Kven population, liaising with the Norwegian media, to push for the establishment of a state secretary for Kven issues to further the knowledge of the Kven language from the kindergarten level onwards using the proceeds of a Kven culture fund and income from museums and culture centers. The Kven also demand bilingual signage and place names. Yet only after Norway ratified in 1999, the Council of Europe's Framework Convention for the Protection of National Minorities did it reluctantly alter the Kven status and accepted that they are a national minority. This process started in 1996, actually. Now Norway accepts that the Kvens are a minority with a historical presence longer than 100 years in a given territory. The Kven language has been recognized as minority language only in 2005, as I told you before. Now only Norway and Canada maintain a three three-tiered hierarchy of nations, indigenous, minority, and immigrants. Even so, Norway is light years ahead of countries such as Israel or Greece, who completely deny the existence of their minorities. Israel has insisted until quite recently that the Palestinian nation is a 1964 invention, and the Greeks refuse to accept the existence of Macedonians on Greek soil.